All right, moving on. We talked about optimization and CPU spike. So recently, our APM SME group distributed this article. And in fact, you can see the original publication date was March 18th, 2020, so not, not too long ago. Because we we're getting questions about, hey, my, my big IP appliance is like freaking out. It's like hitting 100% CPU. What can I do about it? Well, there's a couple, couple things you could do. You could scale out big IPs, right? Or you could turn some knobs and switches to get things optimized. And that's what this article does. So if you come down, it gives you recommended actions to get your CPU level down. So maybe you have compression enabled. Well, let's disable that for time being. Maybe you have, maybe you don't have the TLS ciphers properly uh, positioned uh, and they're not hardware accelerated. All right, make sure those are hardware accelerated. Uh, let's reduce or um, eliminate the ACLs on the policy, right? So maybe have your next-gen firewall or firewall downstream handle those ACLs. And then there's connection mirroring and split tunneling, traffic shaping, and bathroom controller. Split tunneling is a, a, probably a big one. I mean, that's going to do, uh, in addition to easing the load, it's going to ease the load of the traffic traversing your network as well. So these are all ones that you probably want to take a look at. Uh, you know, scaling out, as I mentioned earlier, is another option. But if that's not an option, just check these, these recommendations to make sure that your policy is properly optimized. Another article here I wanted to share was the Big IP Access Policy Manager and Network Access documentation. Now, F5 has tons of documentation, and not just for Access Policy Manager. We've got documentation for our application security module manager. We've got LTM knowledge. We've got DNS knowledge. We've got all sorts of knowledge for everything you can imagine with a Big IP. I want to point this one out because you'd be using this pretty often to configure your VPN Aside from what I'm going to show you in just a moment, the one we're going to, I'm going to demo for you is going to be a very, very simple policy. But if there's other things that you want to do, such as configuring ACLs or setting DNS or static hosts, maybe you want to do some drive mapping, um, you know, maybe you want to configure some different web top options, you could find all that information right here. And it's, uh, it's very well documented and it's going to help you on your journey to getting your VPN solution fully configured.